approximately 34% of the suburban multi-story residential building stock in Europe is built in the 60s and 70s. These buildings are characterized by high energy losses through the envelope, high energy consumption, poor aesthetics and low indoor air quality. E2Vent project is developing a cost-effective, high energy efficient ventilated facade for retrofitting of residential buildings. E2Vent is a research project founded by the European Union under the Horizon 2020 program. It started in January 2015 and it will last for 42 months. E2Vent consortium comprises of 13 partners from eight European countries gathering large industries, research institutes, universities and SMEs. The e vent system is a ventilated facade, so external insulation with cladding, but it also includes HVAC system, so a smart heat recovery unit for air renewal with heat recovery. A latent energy storage system in order to have some cooling and heating and a smart heat recovery unit for air renewal allowing heat recovery and a latent energy storage system for pre-cooling and pre-heating and also a building energy management system in order to pilot those two systems. The Smart Modular Heat Recovery Unit, SMHRU, is an air-air heat exchanger that will be installed in the ventilated facade. The unit consists of circuits in which the air is streamed to exchange heat between the interior and the exterior. The OSF plates are used due to their compactness, high thermal effectiveness and design possibilities. In winter, the unit will preheat the air and in summer, it will pre-cool the air, improving the air quality inside the building. LHTS stands for Latent Heat Thermal Energy System and it's a system that allows to store energy. So this system is used either to cool or to heat the building and it uses temperature differences between day and night. The heat that we store in the system is stored inside phase change materials. These materials allow to store or to release a lot of energy when they become solid or when they become liquid. And this is this property that is specific to our system that allows to store or to heat energy. The system uh, gathers data from different uh, sources, the weather, sensors, and devices, and then with all that information uh, decides uh, which way it has to act with the different devices. The BAMS allows the user to take data-driven decisions. A graphic user interface provides real-time information from the sensors and actuators. It also allows to control the two HVAC systems and offers a secure way to give users access to specific functionalities. A uh, event system is anchored on the wall with these, these brackets. Then there is a beam that is going to be installed on these brackets. And finally, there will be a cladding, uh, cassettes from aluminum made, that will be the final finish of the system. The main advantage of the E2Vent module compared to existing systems on the market is that the air renewal system is located inside the insulation. So we have this air renewal for the improvement of indoor air quality while we have heat recovery without taking any space inside the flat. For a typical residential building with flats of 50 to 80 meters squares, we would have two pairs of the mechanical air renewal system and the latent energy storage system with one building energy management system. So each of those, more or less, when it will be industrialized, will cost 2,000 euros. So wall systems for one flat would be around 10,000 euros. The suitable market for E2 vent when the LHTES is designed for preheating is the cold climate with existing residential building stock and high energy costs. The reason for having two different demos is due to compare the performance of the units in a Mediterranean climatology, this is the case in Burgos, and the occidental climatology that we will have in Dansk, Poland. The demonstration started at the end of 2017 in the University of Burgos, with the renovation of a building composed of two classrooms. The renovation design includes three SMHRU, two LHTES, three BEMS, and ventilated facade of 250 square meters. The second demo site building in Dansk needed to be renovated because of its low energy performance and the low indoor air quality. E2 vent solution was demonstrated on two flats. 
The renovation design includes two SAMHRU, two BEMS, 40 square meters of the ventilated facade, and around 120 square meters of ETEX facade. The E2 vent solution was designed to both ensure comfort inside the building and reduce energy bills. Due to its multiple technical characteristics, it does not have a direct competition on the market.